Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Craviator, and welcome back to another Forza Motorsport 6 video. Uh, today I'm just going to talk about two things. One, um, or maybe actually three things. We'll, go, we'll see how it goes. Um, the first thing is, uh, actually, I'm actually going to start up a new series. It's Oddball Cars, um, and see how far I have actually can get them up on the leaderboard. Um, this is actually an idea that Devin, a JSR Devin, my teammate and fellow YouTuber, has started, and I thought it was a pretty good idea, so I'm going to steal it off him. Thanks, Devin. Um, so first off, uh, we're going to do a, a bit of a rally. Well, the car that is on screen is the Local Motors Rally Fighter. Um, we're going to do a bit of a video first on that. Second off, we're going to talk about... Um, what happened to me in the, the second round of the Formula Racing Championship in the Formula Ford. Uh, so I've got some pretty good clips there. And yeah, I've, well, well actually there was two things. So we'll start off with this. Uh, let's see how we go. Um, this car is for D-Class. I left it in D-Class pretty much. Um, uh, I did try it in the higher classes but I found that this car has actually got a really a lot of grunts in D class so it's pretty good for the, the acceleration tracks. I'm actually going around Sebring short at the moment and I'll show you what position I actually got it in it got when I finished. I did about 10-15 laps around here so I did quite a, a few laps in this car and it is actually quite quick around here surprisingly um, I'm pretty sure it'd be good around like Road America and in, like Indianapolis but guys, remember, if you do see this car, it is a big heavy monster of a car. You don't use it to take out people online. Because that's no fun for anyone, and it's bad sportsmanship, and it's a no-go to do that anyway. So it's a, it's a no-no. Um, I'm pretty much coming up to the end of the lap. It's only got three gears, so first, second, third is pretty straightforward. I've got that nice brake slide going in there nice tight apex it's got a little bit of um, grunt on the wheels on the rear wheels but it's pretty good not it's pretty stable especially for a big hefter car so that is it for the rivals the lap replay thing and I actually got it when the loading screen disappears in 67th with a one hang on let me scroll with a 125.558. Now that's first place has a 122.9. It's never gonna get first, not in a million years. But it might get top 50 with like the perfect, perfect lap by me. Um, but yeah, it's it's actually I was really surprised because it's probably the only one in the top um, like 500, 1000 maybe didn't see any of them at all and it's the only one in the top 100 when I'm yeah it's the only one in top 100 so it's a pretty decent car um, the build and tune is pretty straightforward um, so we're gonna go to upgrades brakes we got stock brakes and stock weight reduction I'm pretty sure it's got n like literally nothing actually it's got it's got a race diff I know that because um, there's already adjustable parts stock in the car. Um, yeah, it's stock. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's stock. Let's have a quick geese. I could be wrong. I just want to make double sure. I should have checked this early in the video before I did this video. But you live and learn. Yeah, so it is stock. Okay, um, let's check the bumpers, stock, stock, no engine, and no transmission, uh, turbos or superchargers. Alright, so pretty much the car is stock, it is stock, um, we're going to go to the, the tune setup, we've got 30-30s on the tyre pressures. Obviously, stock transmission, you got first, second, third. The gears do quite pull very, very well for this car. Um, alignment, we've got negative two on the front. We've got 
negative 1.5 on the rear. We got zero on the front, negative 0.1 on the rear. We got five on the caster. Roll bars, 21 on the front, 19 on the rear. Springs, we got 1200 and 1100. Ride height all the way to the bottom, so 9.6 and 6.8. Uh, rebound stiffness, we got 10.5 on the front, 10.5 on the rear. Bump stiffness, we got 2 on the front and 2.4 on the rear. We don't have any downforce, so it's stock. We don't have any brakes, so it's stock. And obviously, I always run 100 and 0. You can drop it down to about 40 and 15 if you want, but 100 and 0, I feel like it works pretty well with that one, especially being a very, very he heavy car. Um, it also helps with the turn in a lot more. Um, initial turn in and turn in when you on the throttle as well um, you just want need that little bit of extra turn in while sacrificing having a stiffer car so it helps out with the the traction and the, the grip on the rear so that's why I always have it like that um, that's pretty much it for the talking about topic number one now what you're watching now is the clips of what happened to me in the semi-final second week of the Forza Racing Championship in the Formula Ford. As you can see, it didn't really go well. Uh, second race, this is what happens. It's just all sorts of carnage coming up. So 90 degrees there. It wasn't a fun time racing, actually. Racing was pretty shit. Not even gonna lie. I, like, I didn't even want to race at the end. This is what happened to me at, towards the end of the race as well. Just, like, what the hell? And we're about to get collected, yep, there we go, had nowhere to go, and the sim damage was on as well, so nothing could be done about that. And coming into the third final race at Nürburgring with GP, um, it wasn't, well, it was probably my second best race, my first race at Catalonia was my best, I didn't get taken out or anything like that, so... It's a little bit, it's a bit sketchy at the start, but... Sucks driving in wood view as well, because you can't see what's going on. There's Rossi, that got taken out there, but I can't remember who it was. So I get hit off there a little bit. A bit of a nudge going on, and this is just ridiculous, this one. I love it. Out of nowhere. Race over. And yeah, that's pretty much what happened for me. Um, I'd just like to say good luck to my teammate, um, teammates who made it to the final, which got first and second respectively in the, the third semi-final, so the final semi-final, final semi-final, semi yeah. Um, JSR, Razor, JDM, who won and actually won like an Xbox and stuff like that, and JSR Rossi, who got second and won like Elite Controller and stuff like that. Um, so, well done to them. Their race is on tonight, so I really want to hopefully. I'll, I think they're, yeah, they're playing for Ford Focus, so a brand new Ford Focus, and a, a whole bunch of cash as well. So, I really want them to do well. Um, so, good luck to the boys, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, yeah. So guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please give it a like, share, favorite, and if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. I also do have a Twitter, it's just down below. Also, we do have a Facebook page for JSR. If you want to like that, we're hopefully going to be posting more DLC codes and giveaways and stuff like that. I also do have I just set up a Patreon the other day. Um, it's like a donation page. Any little bit helps if you do want to donate. It's entirely up to you guys. Any of the donations will go towards better recording equipment and better, so hopefully better quality videos in future as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you later. Bye.